Hello and welcome back to year two, week one of our FCS Dynasty. Game number four coming at you. 18th ranked South Dakota State Jackrabbits hosting the Army Black Knights. And before we get into this, I'll let you guys take a look at that roster while I get some shout outs to our Discord Pick'em winners from the last game. I forgot to mention it in the last video. But the winners, they selected Colorado State over Northern Colorado. The winners are Ashley Jackson, Chris Numa, Jarmel Lewis, Wooly Madden, Everett Garrison, Dorian Wura, Noah Regeer, Ball Hawk, Quasi Sands, Xavier Wilson, Mason Smith, Jacob Coleman, Zach Fryer, Bryson Shields, and Jay Washington. Those are the Discord Pick'em winners. And in the Discord, uh, we also have the South Dakota State Jack. I was running away with the picks 24 to 8 in the Discord, so we'll see how that pans out. But the Jackrabbits looking good so far. Here is Jacob Komen, the four-star recruit coming out of high school, getting his first career touchdown and already making an immediate impact here for the Jackrabbits. 30 seconds into the season and a great throw here from Lamar Jackson. And that is going to be his 35th career touchdown pass. Great corner route here from Komen. Congratulations on your first touchdown reception. Jack Rabbit's back on offense. Army goes three and out, and here is Lamar. Duke into the outside, gets up to the 36-yard line. Another nice run from him in his career. He's over 1,000 rushing yards. He had 1,023 last season with 12 touchdowns, but he fumbled the football seven times. Second down and 10. Jackson, all day to throw this time. He's picked off by the middle linebacker, star player on the defense. Not a very good pass. James on the pick. And that is Jackson's 17th career interception. He had 34 touchdowns to go along with 16 picks last year. And he won quarterback of the year. Let's see how the defense responds. Chris Major coming through, getting the sack. There's a flag on the play. Doesn't matter. Chris Major gets his second career sack. He had one last season. Second and 17. Bennett going to be sacked again. This time it is Mason Smith. He was fantastic on defense last year. With over 70 tackles, 11 for loss, and 4 sacks. And here's a completion out to Bishop, the freshman running back. Gets a nice catch, but he is short of the marker. So the Jackrabbits are back on offense. Jackson rolling out to the right side. He's going to take off. He's got the first down, tracked down inside the, oh, past the 20. And he's injured his foot on the play. So we're going to see four-star freshman Tremaine Watson, the 6'5", 240-pound Freshman quarterback coming in with a 78 overall to fill in for the injured Lamar Jackson. We won't know how serious it is until a little bit later. TJ Maxey with a nice catch on Watson's first career pass attempt. And here's another one this time to Coleman. Freshman receiver making an impact today. Two catches already for him. Watson to throw deep shot right side. Jack Marks is wide open. Gets it inside the 10-yard line. Marks had 25 receptions last season. And he also had uh, six touchdowns, but he had eight drops, so he's got he's to fix that a little bit. First and goal, Mason Smith in the backfield, and they're going to hand it off to him. Spins, and there were some drop frames right there, but we're going to see it again here on the replay with a better look. Nice juke move, great spin, and carries a bunch of defenders into the end zone. Look at all them falling down like bowling pins. 14-0, and the Black Knights are reeling right now. They do get a nice completion out to Greer right now, but it is third and eight. Bennett rolling out to the right, right side deflected away by Chris Major. That is his 18th career pass deflection. Let's see what Watson can do again. He's going to go right side. Urban Dowski, his first reception of the season. He had a monster year last year, 45 catches. Uh, 1,227 yards and 16 touchdowns. And look at the rocket arm here to Jack Marks. Oh my goodness, he threw it about 70 yards. That ball was in the air forever. 61 yard touchdown pass. Marks with his seventh touchdown of his career. My goodness, the arm strength from this quarterback is phenomenal. And it was just a flick of the wrist. Didn't look like he put a whole lot of effort into that. What a, what a throw. 21-0, South Dakota State just dominating so far. And they're going to fumble the football here. South Dakota State is going to recover it. Mason Smith on the recovery, and Jamar Hicks is injured now. So they are without two of their star players, Lamar Jackson and Jamar Hicks, but I think Hicks is a bigger loss for them. And here is Daly Redding right side. See, they don't really need Lamar Jackson that much with Daly Redding in the backfield. 
but the loss of Jamar Hicks is very big. They are very thin at corner, and we'll see if that's going to affect them for the rest of this game here as they try to slow down Army yet again. Third down and long. Bennett is going to be sacked again, and I believe that was Mason Smith for his second of the game. And he had four last season, so he's got six now for his career, and just comes through unblocked. Fourth down and 25. Back to return is Daly Redding from the 35-yard line. And he's going to have himself a nice return all the way out of bounds at the Army 40-yard line. But the Jackrabbits go three and out. And the Army Black Knights are trying to get something going here. Nice run by the freshman halfback. They're down four touchdowns, but there's plenty of time left in this game. Here's the freshman again. Picks up the first down past the 45-yard line. Second down and five there in Jackrabbit territory. Play action. Bennett, left side, connects with Lane, and he is going to not get the first down. Very close. It's third and inches. They do get it on the next play. Bishop <laughs> runs Chris Major smooth over and picks up the first down. Bennett on the option. Left side, pitches out. It's Bishop again. Major can't get him, and Bishop once again will move the chains. Just over a minute remaining in the half. Bishop, seven-yard carry. And they're starting to give the ball off to the halfback a lot here in the second quarter. And it's been working for him, so why not? Here's Scott, the fullback. He's going to pick up the first down. And Army calls a timeout with 58 ticks left. Bennett to throw. He is sacked again. Chris Major, two sacks today. He only had one all last season. So great job from the strong safety position. Chris Major, the only player of ours to go over 100 tackles last year with 104. He also had 10 for a loss. Nice play here by Goku Lee, I believe. Yes, it is. The three-star freshman, only a 62 overall, but a great play right there. And a nice stop for South Dakota State. It's fourth down. They're going to have to kick a field goal. And the kick is up and good. 17 plays, 73 yard drive, took almost three minutes off the clock. But South Dakota State holds strong, and they have a chance here to get some more points. Watson again, deep pass, left side, connects with Erwin Dowski inside the 25 yard line. And Watson might have the strongest arm I think I've seen so far in the series. Just an amazing throw, my goodness. Erwin Dowski, of course, a big playmaker, and he made a huge one there. Watson to throw again. All day, deep shot over the middle and wide open as Brahms North for the touchdown. The big tight end with his fifth touchdown of his career. And that catch gets him over 900 career yards. What a throw. Look at the throw power, the velocity. Oh my goodness. This guy is going to be special, folks. But again, Lamar Jackson is the starter, obviously. 35-3 at the end of the first half. 365 yards of offense for the Jacks. 123 for Army. First down and 10 for the Black Knights. And they're in the I formation here. Bennett's going to go play action. And shot over the middle, deflected away at the last second. And there's a flag on the play. Army is just having no luck today at all. Just a lot of mental errors. And it's third down and 17. Bennett, right side, connects with Hood. And he's going to outrace Chris Major. Oh my goodness. Army finally gets something to go their way. Nice touchdown pass here against the secondary. And here is Daly Redding. Another big carry. He's going to fumble the football, though. Oh, my goodness. Now, Army with a little bit of momentum. And they're spiking the ball here. You're still down by 25 points. I'm not sure why you're so excited. Let's see if Army can't capitalize on the great field position. And that was Daly Redding's fifth career fumble. It looked like he tried to switch hands at the last second or cover the ball up, but it was too little too late. Third down and nine here for Army. Bennett to the throw. Right side. Connects with St. Louis, and he is taken down short of the first down. Great stop again. And Army settles for another field goal attempt, and it is up and good. 35-13 to 13 is the score here in the third quarter. On the ensuing kickoff, Jack Marks to return from his own one-yard line. And he is going to be dropped. He got tackled by a couple players. And he has injured his shoulder on the play. So that's now three subscriber players that have been injured here today for South Dakota State. And that is not good news. Watson 
avoiding the pressure. Throws it up. TJ Maxey wide open. Nice juke move. Gets in the open field. Past the 40, the 30, and inside the 25-yard line. Great move by the number two tight end on the roster. This guy was big for them last season. And if he has another big season this year, we're going to have to elevate him to a subscriber player status so we can follow his career further. First down and 10. Watson with a pump fake. And deep shot to the end zone. And Coleman has it for his second touchdown today. Oh my goodness. Take a look at that replay. Another fantastic throw from Tremaine Watson. My goodness gracious. Coleman with two touchdowns today. Four-star wide receiver just coming through today all the time. Just every single quarter he's made a catch. Bennett gets absolutely crushed here. That is a sack and a loss of four yards. So the defense... For South Dakota State, only having four subscriber players uh, coming into the game is actually doing quite well. They're down to three now, though, with Jamar Hicks out. Play action. Bennett, deep shot. Oh, no, Robinson's out there, and he actually makes a good play. Nice deflection and another good stop. And South Dakota State is back on offense. Watson, 11 of 16, 307 yards, three touchdowns. And he throws it off his back foot. He's picked off, and that is James that's his second of the game. Probably not a very good decision there. He just didn't get enough power behind the throw. He threw it on the run, off his back foot. Man, I think that was Collings. And that was Collings, the five-star recruit, the big halfback. And it was just not a good throw. Bennett on the option in the open field. Bennett is going to walk into the end zone untouched. Oh, my goodness. Now, Army seizes a little bit of momentum. South Dakota State back on offense. Watson rolling around, finds Coleman again, and he's going to pick up nine more yards to add to his total for the day. Third down and one. Collins gets a carry. His first big carry of his career past the 45-yard line. South Dakota State with 15 first downs now on the day. Watson over the middle. Oh, my goodness. Intended for TJ and Maxey. Almost picked off. And Watson's going to have to roll around again, throws it up, and TJ Maxey never looked like he even saw the football, and it wouldn't have mattered anyway. Turnover on downs, my goodness. 42-20. to 20. Army back on offense. There is a man wide open in the end zone. That is an easy touchdown for Lane, and they're going to try to go for two points here to make it a 14-point ball game. So Army clawing their way back in. Taking advantage of all the injuries today for South Dakota State and definitely capitalizing on it. But they are going to be stuffed here on the two-point conversion. And it is going to be a 16-point ball game. Daly Redding gets a carry up the middle, breaks a tackle, breaks another one, picks up 12 yards. Look at the stats. Four carries over 100 yards. My goodness. Cowling's on a carry. He's in the open field. Look out. Gets past midfield into Army territory. His first career 20-plus yard run. And that was just a great blocking on the left side. Opened up the lane. Watson to throw it. Watson, deep shot. That is well overthrown and picked off by Shaw. He's injured his back on the play. And it looks like Army's going to have the ball around the one-yard line. Entering the fourth quarter, Army down 16 points. Here is Scott. The fullback gets a carry. Scott, oh my goodness. Scott is going to take this one all the way. Are you kidding me? What a play from the fullback. He is fast. Like a streak of lightning. Oh, but there's a flag for clipping. So a huge play gets called back. And it looked like it was way after he was already in the open field. Second down and one now. Play action. Bennett. Oh, he's got a man wide open. This is going to be another touchdown anyway. That's Woodard. And he is gone. Not sure what happened to the corner back there. Well, Chris Major was no match for that speed. 91-yard touchdown pass. And Army's going to go for two points yet again. Here in the fourth quarter, still clawing their way back in. And that was just terrible coverage. Major had no chance of getting over there to help. And it looked like the cornerback might have got caught up on another receiver. Bennett going for two. That pass is incomplete. It hits the back of the helmet of the halfback. And I'm not sure why he's upset with the quarterback. you got to turn your head around, son. South Dakota State punts the football away on the next drive. This is going to be returned by Lane, and Lane finds the lane, and he is gone. Touchdown, Black Knights. And again, fighting their way. It's 42-39. So many injuries have really hurt the South Dakota State team today. 
And Daly Redding is going to be injured here as well. He injures his shoulder on the play. What is going on? They caught the injury bug today. In the first game of the season, this is not a good sign. Daily Redding, strength shoulder, out for three weeks. So we're going to see a lot of Mason Smith and Collings. And Tremaine Watson is sacked here back at his own 14-yard line. Bringing up fourth down and 16. So Army, with all the momentum, everything's going their way. They're going to get the football back here with a chance to tie it up or take the lead with a touchdown. So an insane turn of events. And they're going to play action. Right side, Greer inside the 15-yard line. Mason Smith on the coverage. This defense is doing all they can to slow them down. And Bishop untouched into the end zone for the go-ahead touchdown. 45-42. 13-yard run. He was a nice little counter here. Great blocking on the outside. You see a couple guys get pancaked. That was too easy. 46-42 now. Watson to throw. Left side. Coleman has it. Coleman is gone. Oh, my goodness. His third touchdown of the game. Jacob Coleman, number 14. Wow. Four-star freshman just making his presence felt on the football field. 80-yard touchdown reception and the go-ahead score. With around two minutes left in the game. Perfect route. The safety got turned around. Coleman off to the races. You're not catching him. It's 49-46. 146 remaining in the game. Bennett, he's going to be dropped for the sack. And that looks like it was Lefeu on the sack. That'll bring up fourth down and ten. And there's a little bit of jawing going on on the field right now. A little bit of trash talk. South Dakota State one play away from getting the football back. Fourth and ten. Bennett, over the middle, finds Lane, who has been so good for them in this second half. And they have the first down at the 35-yard line. Going no huddle. Single back set. Bennett going to toss it out to Bishop, who's going to go right side. Follows the blocking. He's past the 30, and Bishop is gone. High stepping his way into the end zone. And there's been so many lead changes, I've lost count. It's 65-yard touchdown run. Oh, my. Take another look at the blocks here. Cornerback gets blasted. Chris Major can't get there. Robinson, the free safety, doesn't stand a chance. And that is the type of play that you need Jamar Hicks in there. He's so fast, so good. And Coleman gets player of the game, his first career game. My goodness. 53-49, though. His team is down. Watson looking to throw it. And he's going to toss it up, deflect it away. That'll bring up second down and 10. Watson just 13 of 27 now. He was very good to start his career. Watson, right side, he's going to pick up the first down using his legs out of bounds at the 35-yard line. Under a minute remaining now, 50 seconds. Watson is sacked. Oh, that is not a good sign. 30-yard line they're at, and Watson's going to have to chuck it up here. Left side deflected away. That'll bring up fourth and 15. With 43 seconds left, they have to go for it. Nice pump fake, gets the defensive lineman to jump. And Dayton Down has his first career reception. He's got the first down and more. Out of bounds at the 27-yard line. Four-star tight end coming through in the clutch with less than a minute remaining. First time we've seen him all game long. What a throw and what a catch and run. Second and 10. Watson is going to be sacked again. This offensive line got absolutely plastered on that play. Third and 16. 10 seconds to go. Deep shot to the end zone. Jack Marks drops the football in the go-ahead touchdown. Slips through his hands. Fourth and 16. Another fourth and long here. Can they convert once again? Watson to throw. Another great pump fake. The defensive end jumped. Brahms North is there. He's got the touchdown. And South Dakota State is going to take the lead with three seconds remaining in the game. What a clutch throw from four-star freshman Tremaine Watson to Brahms North, the tight end, his second touchdown of the ball game, his sixth of his career. Three seconds left, this is the final play of the game. Bennett is hit as he throws, that is incomplete, and South Dakota State comes away with a victory, 56 to 53, folks. What an insane game. There's no way that any of you thought that that was gonna happen. Oh my goodness. Shout out to everybody that picked South Dakota State to win it. Jay Balmer, MJ Gator Jr., Chris Numa, 
Wooly Madden, Jack Brown, four star commander, Everett Garrison, Aiden Davis, Noah Regeer, Ball Hawk, Zoomer Speed, Tyler Chandler, Xavier Wilson, Seth Maddox, Mason Smith, Emmanuel Wise, Alexander Connor, Jacob Gelman, Zach Pryor, Kelvin Jasper Jr., Bryson Shields, Nick Hall, and Jay Washington. You guys all got it right in the FCS Pick'em in the Discord. What a game, guys. So many injuries today for South Dakota State. Four subscriber players went down, but South Dakota State, they have so many subscriber players on their roster, so they have plenty of depth. Uh, not on defense, though. You can definitely tell once Jamar Hicks went down, Army's offense was definitely able to pick up the pace, and they scored a lot of points, 50 points in the second half, uh, as opposed to their three in the first half. But South Dakota State, they were able to eke out a victory there in the end. Tremaine Watson played phenomenal, filling in 472 yards, five touchdown passes for the freshman in his college debut. Two picks, but that's all right. My goodness. Sacked five times. The offensive line was not very kind to Tremaine Watson today. He did have a long of 80 yards, though. Daily Redding, four carries, 105 yards, one touchdown. Mason Smith had a touchdown as well, but Daily Redding out for three weeks. Three broken tackles, a fumble. What a game, guys. Jack Marks goes over 100 yards. I'm not even sure if he ever did that last season. But Jacob Coleman, the best receiver on the team today. Three touchdowns, over 140 yards receiving. Urbandowski had a great game. Brahms North, TJ Maxey, and Dayton Down with a clutch reception to keep the game alive for the Jackrabbits. Jack Marks with a drop today. That'll give him nine for his career. And, of course, the offensive line destroyed. Jake Seahorn, the four-star freshman tackle, all out of sacks today. Mason Smith led the team in tackles with nine and two for a loss, two sacks. Chris Major had two sacks today from the strong safety spot. The defense really stepped up today in that first half. That's that I'm hoping that is what they can be capable of doing all season long. Uh, they just have to stay healthy. They cannot afford to lose Jamar Hicks at corner. He's the best player on that defense by far, and they need him on the field all the time. Forced fumble today for Hicks, and it was recovered by Mason Smith. No field goals, three punts. Not a good average for Tim George, the <laughs> true freshman punter. Uh, kick return, nothing crazy, except for an injury to Daily Redding. Bennett, Bishop, and Lane, players of the game for Army. Watson, Coleman, and Smith, players of the game for South Dakota State, as they remain ranked. They were ranked 18th coming into the game, guys. Our next game, the game of the week, final game of the week, is number 22, UC Davis, traveling to take on fifth-ranked Fresno State. I'll see you guys for that one in a bit. Take it easy, guys.